Welcome to another training session on the TIA portal. In today's session, we will learn how we can track the motor running hours by ladder logic program. First of all, we will create a new project in the TIA portal. Next, we will add a CPU in the project. For today's tutorial, I will add CPU 1214. Next, we will go to the PLC properties and change its IP address. Next we will go to the system and clock memory menu, and enable the clock memory byte. This will enable the clock bits, which will turning on, and off at different frequencies. We will use M0.5 clock bit, which is turning on and off at 1 Hz frequency. Next we will go back to the the program blocks, and open the OB1. In the network number 1, quickly we will make the simple hold on logic, to turn on and off the motor using start and stop push buttons. In the network number 2, we'll insert the motor output M50.0, when the motor turns on, this contact will be closed. After that we will insert the, 1 Hz clock bit M0.5, this bit turns on and off every on second. On every rising edge of this clock bit, we will use the add function, to add 1 in the MD80 double word, this will give us the motor running seconds. In the network 3, we will convert the running seconds to the running hours, by dividing the total running seconds over 3600, as we know that 1 hour have 3600 seconds. Next we will upload the program into the PLC and test the ladder logic. Let's turn on the motor by turning on the start push button M50.0. In the network 2, as the motor turn on, the M50.1 contact closes, and on the each rising edge of the clock bit M0.5, the add instruction increments the running seconds by 1 second. Next as you can see that, we are dividing the running seconds over 3600 to get the running hours. We can use the running hours reading to generate the maintenance warnings to service the motors. That's the end of the today's tutorial, do share like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Till next time take care and goodbye.